So now that we have discussed polynomial functions, we can branch into a type of function called rational functions. A rational function is simply a ratio of two polynomials. So if you look at the term rational, you see the word ratio. That's a good way to remember it. So a rational function is a ratio of two polynomial functions. So we have a polynomial and then we're dividing by a non-zero polynomial. And now, whenever we go to find the domain, the domain of a rational function is any real number except where the denominator isn't zero. So let's take a look at an example. We're going to find the domain of this rational function. So we'll take and set the denominator equal to 0. So x minus 9 set equal to 0 will yield x equals 9. And this is a value we want to exclude. So we're going to have all real numbers except x equals 9. So the domain will be negative infinity to 9. We won't include the 9. Then we'll pick back up and go to infinity. Likewise, in this example, we will set the denominator equal to 0. And solve. So we have 6x squared minus x minus 15 equals 0. Let's factor. So let's try 6x squared as 2x and 3x. And then 15, we'll try to break up as a positive and a negative. Now, 15, we'll try 3 and 5. I'm not going to put the 3 with this 3. I'll put the 3 over here because I don't want to introduce a common factor that was never present in the original. So let's check our outer and inner. So we have 9x and we have negative 10x. That yields for us negative x. So we're good. We can continue on. So now, that means that we have 2x plus 3 equals 0, or 3x minus 5 equals 0. So that means x equals negative 3 halves, or x equals 5 thirds. So we want to exclude those values. So we'll go from negative infinity to negative 3 halves, union, negative 3 halves to 5 thirds, and then 5 thirds to infinity.